Hello and welcome to another episode. I'm just doing another uh, opinionated piece, I guess, an edit um, editorial, simply for the fact that I can't get myself out of the funk to do anything here. I mean, it's already late enough getting this video together for a Monday because it's 10.25 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. So, yeah, I'm way behind. Um... But anyway, they I uh, figure I would just ramble a bit. Put my Harley Quinn shirt on since I'm kind of in between here. It's tight where I gained a lot of weight back. I got out of the hospital. And got down to 280, and now I'm back up to 295 again. Anyway. I am trying to lose weight, because I did get up to 300 again. So, I'm down to 295 once more. Trying to drop the weight. But I don't expect any immediate results since it's been a lifelong struggle. Anyway. Got my new glasses. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. Can see my eyes much better. Even with the reflection. Because I don't have the glare issues. Um, my other ones did. So, with that said, um, Friday, I did talk about Bernie being back in the um, running for 2020. It's wonderful. He's my top pick with Elizabeth Warren and Tulsi Gabbard tied for second behind him. The rest of them, they're too much in the pocket of corporations and the rich. I mean, honestly... Corporate Democrats are the same as Republicans to me. I see them as the same people. Um, I, I don't really have a topic for this video. It's just a ramble, I guess. Um... YouTube banned any anti-vaxxers, anti-vaxxer videos, which I love. It's putting the focus back on science. The next thing they need to do is ban climate denial videos because we know that is essentially the same thing. If you have a... Um, Sorry, I was just playing with the eyebrows. Um, but if you have a theory that puts others at risk, it's not a legitimate theory. You know, climate change denial? No, 
It's just as bad as anti-vaxxers. You know. Flat earthers, while also stupid, at least doesn't physically put anybody in jeopardy. The same with those who deny the moon landing. But yeah, climate change deniers and anti-vaxxers, those need to be pulled out of public discourse. They're not legitimate arguments or theories. Now, I don't know why I'm so fascinated watching my eyebrows. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I uh, always preach, don't be so sold on what you're fed. You know, educate thyself. But also, don't be stupid, stupid. And vaccinations are scientifically proven to work. They have been tested and the results verified over and over and over. So, yeah. Same with global warming. It's been tested and proven. And the data shows it over and over and over. And those who rail against it, I mean, it, it, really, are you that stupid? I just, it, it bothers me. It really does. Education and science and facts. You know, these are true things we should look to, true ideas, and so many people are, my theory's valid, just as valid as yours. Has it been tested, proven? and put through several verification processes. If it has failed that stringent level of tests, then it's not valid. I'm so tired of the stupid of society. It's Screwed us over. I mean, let's be honest. It's how we ended up with Trump. But anyway... I guess I just wanted to make a short video as kind of a placeholder to say, yes, I've got at least something up for Monday. I'll probably have something up for Wednesday similar to this. I'll try to set up a t talking point beforehand, but again, I do apologize that 
I've kind of failed to really make anything for African American history being it African American History Month. <sighs> I can at least, you know, make mention of how I think politically, how important a Martin Luther King Jr. is, we all know, but I, I've always felt that on the other side, you needed a Malcolm X, someone who scared the other side. And that's why I feel the civil rights era works so well. Because Dr. King was on the side of peace and common sense. And your other alternative was the side of Malcolm X, who was... Not about so much peace. He, he scared a lot of people. It wasn't saying... He wasn't saying go be violent on purpose. But if means... Were required... Then do it. But yeah, it wasn't a bad person, just a result of the surroundings. I've read his autobiography written, um, shoot, can't remember the name, Alex Haley, that was the name of the author. I was trying to remember the name of the author, I was like, He's the same one that did Roots. What was his day? But yeah, written by Alex Haley. I've got his biography in floor there. And then, of course, Martin Luther King Jr. I've also got a book of his writings uh, and speeches. So... That, however, doesn't make me any expert on the matter. I'm just saying I do have material to turn to. It's because of the funk I'm in, I've not, I've failed to do so, so. But just pointing out, I do have the materials. It probably won't be Wednesday, Wednesday either. Regardless, I figured I would just mention, you know, sometimes you needed a side that scares people for them to look at the reasonable side and go, okay. And that's honestly how I feel the um, progressive campaign needs to go. We've got reasonable people in it, such as Bernie, such as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Um, we've got Elizabeth Warren and... Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, and so on. Ilhan Omar. And there are numerous others I could I could add in. Like I said, we've got a small coalition of progressive-minded representatives started. I would just like to see an official pro progressive coalition
you know, with certain rules of we believe in a, you know, monetary viability for all citizens. We believe in health care for all citizens that's in an affordable state. Education that's in an affordable state. That's worth something. For the people. I mean, my goodness. That's how this country started. Of the people and by the people. And our representatives should work for the people. <sighs> but, um... I guess that's all for right now. Like I said, I just had to have kind of a ramble on for a Monday, I guess. I've got to head tomorrow to have uh, my eye looked at. Got an edema, the swelling of the eye. Sometimes I can really feel it. Or my eye just feels, ugh. But, um, anyway, as always, educate thyself, think, read, study, and learn. I'll see you all in again, the stutter over my words, I'll see you all again in the next video. But until then, later.